Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I personally add rating stars to my web results in Google. Now it's a two step process and if you bear with me and give me a few minutes I'm going to show you how it's done. Now the reason I do this is because you know from time to time I create posts and I'm uh, discussing products or services and why not give them a review then that way if my web result comes up in the search engine on Google it's going to stand out a little bit more because it's got some stars and it will also have a small authorship image okay so before I show you how it's done I'm going to quickly jump over to this post and what AccuRank Tracker was a new software that came out I was better testing it and then I purchased it and I figured I would create a blog post about it and add a video and then at the bottom of the post I added this review now I generated this review using a plugin and that's the other step that you're going to need to take so the plugin is called schema creator and it's by Raven and once you install it when you go and create a post or page you're going to see a new icon here called schema creator form so let's say we wrote out our post and now we wanted to add our review now the review doesn't have to go at the end it can go anywhere you like so we're going to put a review right here and we're going to click on this schema creator form now we have to select the schema type now you can do person product event etc you know most of us and I know I'm going to put this video on wealthy affiliate you want to select review now this would be for like products or services etc now I know it does have products here but that's if you were you know selling cameras or something because you get to put in the brand the manufacturer model etc so most people will use a review so I'm going to quickly fill out this form uh, just so that you understand what details you should be putting in here so in the name I would enter in the product name uh, the website uh, if you're an affiliate Personally, I would enter in the affiliate link to the product or service, or you know, if it's something you're not affiliated with, then just put the direct link to the product. Generally, what I've been doing for the description is taking a couple of lines from the description from the actual website where the product or the service comes from. Now, the amount of description you enter here is it's entirely up to you. A couple of lines is probably all you actually need. For item name, I would also enter in the exact product. And item review, well, this is your review of the product or service. Now, for rating, I generally go with something like 4.5. And then the minimum amount of stars is going to be 1. And the maximum amount is going to be 5. Now, for author, you are going to enter in your Google Plus name. And the published date, well, you would put today's date. Or if you wanted to backdate it, you could backdate it so we are going to go for February 1st and then we're going to click on insert and that's pretty much it now if you realize hey I need to add a bit more to my description or my review well you can see how it's all laid out so if you wanted to add more to the description you could do so like that or if you wanted to drop down a couple of lines click on the icon again select review and it should still be pre-filled yeah so you could add some more details and then click insert, delete the old form. So there's two parts to this. The first part, you have to make sure your website is set up with Google authorship. And the second part is, well, you have to make sure that you're displaying the right schema markup code. So if you decide to use the plugin schema creator by Raven, it's going to allow you to insert the correct code. And the final note I should have mentioned before too, make sure you test everything with Google's rich snippet testing tool because sometimes it can take a couple of days before your rating stars appear now I will post a link to the rich snippet testing tool but for me I use this bookmarklet so I'm on the page with the review at the bottom so I'm gonna click snippets and here we are I can see that my rating stars have worked correctly and my authorship image is there so if you see both of these there is no reason why it's not going to work uh, you can also scan over all the additional details and you'll see that the schema details are being picked up again if you have any questions or comments post them below and if you like the video hit the like button have a great day